Okay, Tom, so we're gonna do the high speed maneuvering now. So we're gonna get the boat up out of the water at planing speed, maybe about 20 knots or so. We're gonna do a nice big wide turn to the left, big wide turn to the right. And as we come around in the end, we're gonna cross over our wash in the middle and go over that at 90 degrees at planing speed. Are you ready? Okay, let's do it. So squeeze the trigger, gently push the stick forward and squeeze the throttle on enough so that we get out of the water and start planing. There we go, that's good. So nice and straight now, eyes out of the boat, looking around for things we don't want to bump into. When we make our turn to the left, look over your shoulder before we turn, make sure it's safe. Okay, when you're ready, nice big wide turn to the left, let's go. Come all the way around to where your wash line is here. So when you get to the little line of wash down here, then we'll turn right, okay? Nice wide turn. Gently in control, that's the way. And all the way around and over your wash at 90 degrees, mate. All right, cross the wash at 90 degrees, bouncing and then gently bring the throttle back and slow the boat down. Pull it back in neutral and you're done, mate. Good work, well done. That's, and that speed will be fine, okay? We don't want to go any faster than that. The green marker, green marker, and there's another green marker all the way over the shoreline there. Draw a line between them, you've got to stay on this side of them, okay? That's one of the four cardinal marks. There's a north, a south, an east, and a west. That one is a north cardinal mark. And that what it's doing is it's telling us to stay on the north side of it. So then how do we know which way north is? Where the sun is? Maybe. What if there's no sun? What if it's overcast or nighttime? How would you know? This is a steering compass, so it's telling us that way is south. So which way is north then? That way. Yeah, and you can see the light coloured water in behind it. So you can say as long as we stay on the north side of that marker, we're in the safe water, right? They've all got black and yellow on the poles. And they've all got two black cones on the top of there in different shapes and configurations. You see in here, there's a red and black one. Could be a rock or a reef or a wreck or a sandbar or something right underneath it. You can drive all the way around it, just don't drive over whatever's right underneath it. If you've got really good eyes, you'll make two black balls on top. Can you see them? Yeah. And at night, it's got a white light because it's something else you don't want to bump into. And the white light at night flashes in groups of two. So you see a white light going blink, blink, and then it goes dark. And it goes blink, blink, and then it goes dark. Okay. Let's get going again. Get the boat pointing in the right direction before you go any faster. Go over this wash here. We'll pretty much follow that other boat, okay? So standing up is the way to go. Driving quite safely standing up. To the waves here, see we're coming across them at like a 30 degree angle. What we ideally want to do is maybe go left a little bit and go over those waves at 90 degrees because you'll find the boat might misbehave a little bit going over them at that funny angle. Go out over those waves. There you go, around to the right again. I want to say parallel to an imaginary line across the edge of the moorings here, okay? 